Mercury is the nearest planet to the Sun. About 13 times each century, this small world appears to cross the face of the Sun as seen from Earth. These rare transits of Mercury should never be observed directly or damage to the eye will result. The Sun is a seething cauldron of hot gas, mostly hydrogen. This solar flare is like a giant explosion in the Sun's atmosphere. Solar activity is ceaseless as this time-lapse motion picture shows. A solar prominence which dwarfs the Earth in size and represents more energy than humans will use in 10,000 years. Mercury was formed from the solar nebula about 4.6 billion years ago. Its early history was marked by a violent cratering. This heavy bombardment caused molten lava to rise up from deep inside the planet and cover the surface. Another era of cratering and surface cracking gave Mercury its mottled appearance. The jagged terrain sits lifeless, with a glaring sun dominating the sky. Between 1973 and 1974, Mariner 10 made three flybys of Mercury, providing the best pictures ever obtained. Those photographs showed craters within craters within craters, a most inhospitable landscape. In addition, Mercury is continuously bathed by deadly cosmic rays. The possibility of life existing on this spare world is almost inconceivable. Although it looks a little like the moon, there are major differences. Mercury lacks the great maria, or seas of rock, found on the moon. Also, Mercury has a large iron core, which accounts for about 70% of its mass. One distinguishing feature, the Caloris Impact Basin, looks like a great bullseye over 1,300 kilometers across. Mercury boasts the highest range of temperature in the solar system. On the Fahrenheit scale, its sunward side bakes at 700 degrees, hot enough to melt lead, while the dark side chills at more than 300 degrees below zero. The day is 59 Earth days long. Because Mercury has not been weathered by a thick atmosphere, it remains a pristine example of the early solar system. Perhaps we shall revisit Mercury in the 21st century.